cyclone Halima formed earlier today in the southwest Indian Ocean and is well out at sea right now. Although it has the opportunity to intensify substantially over the next few days as it remains several hundred miles east of Rodrigues. As with storm right now uh, on the satellite imagery currently with winds of 40 miles per hour and a pressure of 997 millibars moving south southwest at 3 miles per hour fairly slow right now and there is some uncertainty about where exactly it's going to go. Right now though, there it is depicted on the map, no land areas anywhere near it right now and that's our best estimate for the wind field at the moment, uh, extending out more, well more to the southern side than it is to the northern side. Currently 765 kilometers from Diego Garcia to the southeast, 1486 from Rodrigues, 2057 from Mauritius, 2278 from La Union and 2718 from Isle Amsterdam. No warnings, of course, for this storm so far, and none are expected to occur as the storm should remain comfortably out at sea. So with strengthening likely, let's take a look at the forecast track. Mostly out at sea, you can see the Agriarcia way up there, and as we move onwards, the wind field will expand and the storm will obviously grow as it intensifies. There's Rodrigues, as you can see the storm remaining far, far away, even if it goes west of the model consensus, there's still plenty of uh, margin for error there. And as it, we move into next week, it will weaken. But by the looks of things, the GFS at least thinks that it might curve back upwards again and have a second go. But at the moment, this is the forecast from Meteo France on the left-hand side. They're expecting a significant cyclonic peak and then turn post-tropical and it, when it sinks down there the first time. We've only got the... Uh, agencies to look at for the intensity estimates we have no ADT and no ASCAT right now unfortunately uh, there is the storm progression on the GFS model category 2 or 3 there quite comfortably and then it moves towards the southeast maintaining strength uh, maybe an argument that it might become an annular storm maybe not and then moving towards the north late in that run uh, as it weakens back to tropical storm status but certainly this storm looks like it's going to have a decent go of becoming a major cyclone and should be harmless out to sea which means that we have another good spectacle to look at in terms of watching these tropical cyclones develop in terms of rainfall, sometimes rainfall can impact locations far away from the storm, but this doesn't appear to be a case of that. Maybe Diego Garcia might get a little bit, uh, but certainly nothing in, in relation to the storm will arrive in the Masserine Islands, um, and certainly the storm moving further east, it's no threat to the eastern islands, say Australia or the Christmas Island or the Cocos Islands. It's uh, right in between in the middle of the ocean, affecting nothing. Incidentally though, in the center of the storm there, you could be looking at around 350 millimeters of rain. Sea surface temperatures ahead of the storm are very good indeed, looking towards 29 degrees Celsius, um, certainly 28 quite commonly, until it goes beyond the latitude of Mauritius, then it drops to around 26 and then eventually 25 if it keeps going south, and then it will really struggle to maintain tropicality. Here it is right now, some visibles there of the storm starting to develop. Um, not look, looking like it's got a massive amount of rotation just yet, or convection, but well, convection blowing up a little bit in the center there, off and on. I imagine it'll be more on in the next 24 hours, and then after that, it will probably let loose and really start to intensify quickly. At the moment, it would appear that it's moving sort of southwest, um, but that motion is expected to turn more southwards by the time we get to day two and three. A little bit dry air down there on the southwest as well. Of course, we'll continue to monitor this storm as it progresses.